Welcome to How to Use Evernote to Raise Your Grades. This is part one discussing how to download and install Evernote. The first step in downloading Evernote is to open your web browser. I will be demonstrating in this video how to download Evernote using both the Firefox web browser as well as the Internet Explorer web browser. After your web browser is open, go to the address bar and type in www.evernote.com. When the website comes up, you will need to go to the products area. There's a little drop down and click on Evernote. And next you will need to click get Evernote for Windows. If your pop-up blocker is enabled, then you will need to go up to this bar and go ahead and download the file. Otherwise, the next dialog box will pop up and it says to run the file. While this one is downloading I'm going to go over to Firefox and demonstrate how to download in Firefox. Again you'll go to the address bar and type in www.evernote.com Same process you will go to the products drop down and click on Evernote and you need to get Evernote for Windows. Now the difference in Firefox is that you have to save the file. You can't simply run the executable. So go ahead and click Save File. And again, we'll have to wait for the download. I'll be back when the downloads are finished. When Internet Explorer pops up the security warning and asks you if you want to run or don't run this program, you know what it is, it's a safe file so you want to go ahead and run the file. You'll need to read the terms in the license agreement. As you can see here it's rather lengthy. After you read them accept the terms and go ahead and click install. And again we'll have to wait for the program to install. In the meantime back over on Firefox Evernote has now finished downloading. So you'll double click on the file and it will open. You need to run the file. And since I've got two downloads going at the same time, I'm going to switch over and use the one version that I got from Internet Explorer. From here out, both versions are the same. So if you're running Firefox, don't worry, you won't miss any steps. Now, back on the Evernote install, the program is finished setting up and you need to click finish. As you can see, it's added a little icon to my desktop up here in the top left corner. In case your computer does not add a shortcut, let me show you how you can get that. You need to go to your start menu and type Evernote. As you can see, it's right there. Now you'll need to drag and drop that file onto your desktop. And here, see, it's asking me if I want to move and replace. I'll say don't move, but for the sake of example, that's what would happen. You would end up with a shortcut on your desktop. Assuming that this is the first time that you have downloaded Evernote, we'll need to get a free Evernote account. When you click on that link, a registration box opens. Put in your name, your email address, and then come up with a username that's not already taken, and a password to protect your notes. After you click on register, Evernote will open as into its normal window. If you click on the maximize button you can get the full screen version. You'll see a welcome to Evernote note and if you have the time go ahead and read that. It's a great preview of what you'll see in the rest of these videos and it gives you some more ideas on how to effectively use Evernote. Before I finish this video let me show you one more thing on the downloads page. If you are running a system other than Windows 7, or if you want to install Evernote on a mobile device such as an iPad, an iPhone, or an Android phone, if you hover over this Evernote link, a box pops up with other options. You can choose from those to pick the operating system or the device that you are using, 
and it will download the correct version of Evernote for you. With that, I'm finished with the first video. Thank you for watching, and please go to the second video, which will demonstrate how to get started in Evernote, explaining the Evernote interface.